Hello, this is Trevor from Telecom Training and today we're going to be talking about 5G internet service which is quite new so it's not as well known as services like DSL or cable however I'm sure most people have heard of 5G cell phone service and how much of a game changer it is projected to be within the cell phone industry with 5G speeds up to 20 times faster than 4G and is capable of things like autonomous driving and virtual reality plus many other applications which we have only mostly dreamt about before 5G. 5G internet is a wireless connection from the cell tower to a fixed wireless receiver connected at your home or business with speeds up to 20 gigabits per second, which is much faster than cable, DSL, or fiber optic lines. <music> 5G internet is currently mostly being rolled out in rural areas where there's poor service or no service at all. In order for 5G internet to achieve the high speeds 5G is known for, frequencies within the multimeter wave band are used. Uh, the negative impact from using frequencies within this band is that the transmission range is limited to a maximum distance of 1500 feet or 457 meters. As you can see here, the transmitting antenna is in very close proximity to the subscriber's premises. There are three types of frequency bands used with 5G cell service. There's the high band, the mid band, and the low band. Now the high band have frequencies between 25 gigahertz and 60 gigahertz. This is the millimeter band. This is the band which is responsible for the speeds that 5G has become known for of 20 gigabits per second. However, the range is very short of 1500 feet or 457 meters. So there's a trade-off. When you have a very high frequency, the distance is very short. Now the 5G midband operates on frequencies between 2.5 GHz and 3.7 GHz, which are lower frequencies than we saw with the high band. Now because these frequencies are lower, the data rate is also lower between 250 and 900 megabits per second. However, the range is greater since the frequency is much lower, you'll get a greater range of several kilometers or miles. Now the 5G low band use frequencies between 600 and 850 megahertz. Now because these frequencies are much lower, you're also going to get a much lower data rate between 50 and 250 megabits per second. Now the range is much greater. With the low band you get a range of 40 square miles or 103 square kilometers. Now here in this slide I have the high band, the mid band and the low band all on here together and you can see that with the high band you have the high frequencies here, high data rate but lower distance and for the mid band you have a lower frequency, lower data rate but um, the range is a bit greater of several miles in comparison to just 1500 feet. Now as you go to the low band you'll notice that the frequency gets lower, the data rate gets lower, but the range gets much greater. So I just wanted you to see that comparison here and what happens with 5G. So for 5G internet ISPs would use a high band in order to provide the highest speed to the subscribers. If the subscribers do not require such a high speed, they could use the mid band service with where the antenna may be located further away, which would give a lower speed. Or they can also use the low band 
if the customer requires a speed between 250 and 250 megabits per second. So these, all of these services are available, uh, but I just wanted you to see here that the further away you get, the the slower the line gets because you're using different frequencies in order to get that service to the customer's premises. If this video has been helpful to you and you'd like to see more videos like this one but you haven't subscribed as yet, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you'll be alerted as soon as our new videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.